Tom Feelings, an acclaimed illustrator, undertook the task of portraying the harrowing experience of African slaves in response to a question posed by a Ghanaian friend who sought to understand their suffering during capture by slavers. The book, titled The Middle Passage, White Ships Black Cargo, 1995, exclusively features black and white paintings that vividly depict the grim reality of procuring and shipping African slaves. Feelings opens the narrative with a description of the images that flashed through his mind when confronted with his friend's inquiry about the experiences of his people. As he embarked on his research, Feelings discovered authentic accounts on which to base his artwork, along with the many justifications that were used to rationalize these atrocities. Consequently, he chose to tell the story without the use of words. Feelings highlights the inherent racism within the English language which further compelled him to communicate the narrative solely through his art. Delving into his people's dark history and witnessing similar offenses persist in contemporary America was deeply painful for feelings. He believes his work holds significance for Africans across the globe who share a collective race memory of their ancestors' shackles, forging spiritual connections. Before beginning the Middle Passage, feelings spent years illustrating the positive aspects of the black experience for African children. However, it was in 1972 during a teaching assignment in Guyana that he realized his calling was to convey the unvarnished historical truth through his art. Guided by personal accounts from captains, traders, and historians, Feelings meticulously crafted his pieces. He returned to America because that was where the pain lay. Overwhelmed by the emotional toll of researching and painting such a somber subject, Feelings recounted how he would only pause to sleep visited by the spirit of his deceased grandmother, who urged him to persevere. In his introduction to the book, Kadir Nelson shares his own connection to it and how he was drawn to it while perusing a bookstore. Without relying on words, the impactful images themselves convey the stark reality, portraying different African tribes and European colonizers in a simplified black and white palette, which effectively underscores the essence. This absence of color highlights Feelings' assertion that words cannot accurately capture the pain and suffering of African slaves. Kamalai Feelings, the author's son, contributes a second introduction, revealing that his father dedicated 30 years to the book and emotionally reacted to the stories he was illustrating, often feeling isolated and overwhelmed. After the book's publication, Feelings sought conversations with critics that enriched his growth as both an artist and a storyteller. Dr. Sylvia A. Duff offers insights into the conditions aboard slave ships, drawing from first-hand historical accounts. The Middle Passage marked the leg of the triangular route where slaves were transported from their homelands to other countries. The vessels often relegated women and children unbound near the back of the ship, while men were confined in a packed, shackled state below deck, their bodies generating intense heat that permeated through vents creating steam-like conditions with temperatures reaching up to 130 degrees. Despite such harsh conditions, they were allowed only meager amounts of water daily. These ships, which could hold up to 700 people, often carried thousands, such as the Rapida Imperatriz, which carried a thousand Mozambique individuals, but only 840 survived. Infested with rats, lice, and fleas, the ships became scenes of immense suffering. Poor conditions led to diseases, suicides, by drowning or starvation, and some were executed through hangings or shootings during insurrections. Women endured sexual abuse from the slavers, and both women and children were subjected to domestic servitude on the vessels. The book begins with Feelings' artwork depicting Africa's serene landscapes, the tranquil sea, the sun's radiance, and a solitary bird in the sky, all captured in a charcoal-like black and white palette. Subsequently, scenes unfold with white men brutally beating Africans using sticks. Africans desperately flee from uniformed white men brandishing long rifles. The captives then form a sorrowful procession, bound together by neck restraints, propelled forward by gun-wielding and whip-wielding individuals. A few African men collaborate with the slavers, and victims lie prostrate on the ground. Along the edge of an image, the ocean swell comes into view. One poignant artistic portrayal captures a woman torn from her family. She is depicted in surreal imagery, mourning with her head held in her hands. The face of a man, laden with anguish, looms above her, while an African baby hovers above his head, flanked by two spears. 
Feelings continues to depict the harrowing shipboard atrocities, including scenes of forced feeding, brandings, and heaps of disease-ridden bodies being cast into the ocean, where swarms of sharks gather. There are depictions of women seized forcibly, men resorting to suicide by scrambling over nets and into the sea, imprisoned children, and a cross-sectional view of the ship revealing African men crammed within the ship's bowels. Feelings portrays a deceased man, devoured by a rat due to the squalid conditions. Insurgents are hanged from the mast, while others are shot. Throughout each painting, the central theme remains conspicuous. Feelings conveys the emotional and physical agonies endured by Africans along the Middle Passage. The artworks reveal a people who suffered the simultaneous loss of their homes, bodily autonomy, humanity, and freedom. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.